Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Check it out. I wanted to show you something that we went over a little bit before, but I came across something pretty cool. Uh, it's just a triad exercise, but it's with inversions. Here we go. So I don't know if you guys remember before we started talking about inversions and playing chords. First inversion or the root position really. And uh, first, first inversion here. Second inversion if you're in the key of C major. So let's break down those inversions really, really quick. So for the root position here, I'm playing C, G, E or C, E, G. As long as your root note is the same, you can actually switch up the other two notes or the other two chord tones in that chord. For the first inversion, you have E, C, G. Second inversion, you have G, E, C. So what I did was just play between two different keys, C major and D major. So I played C major, then D major next. So I played the root root for the both keys. So C major root note or root position, D major root position. Then I did C major first position, D major first position. So it really sounds very airy and very open when I did that. So I just took that same pattern, then C major second position, and then D major second position. So the easy thing about this exercise is I'm actually um, just playing it at a whole step above where I left off. So those were the chords to that pattern. And one day I was singing that same exact thing. I was just humming it and I broke down the triads. I wasn't trying to do this. I kind of did this involuntarily, but I did. It's just a really open, airy, almost whole tone, whole tone type of sound uh, because you're moving up whole steps. Almost you're moving up whole steps. Uh, there's a half step right there. So you're doing C root note, D root note, and then first inversion E, but you're still in the same, you're still in C major. So E, and then it just turns out to be, you're playing for your root note a whole step away from each. And then there's that half step right there. So it sounds really open and really airy and it sounded pretty cool. So I broke down the triad. So what I'm doing for the triad is playing C, E, G, all right, and then octave of C. So I'm playing the notes inside of the chord that I'm playing. Then for D major, same thing, D, F sharp, A, D, right? Um, and then for this first inversion, da, 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 da. so I'm playing E for the first inversion of C major, right? E, G, C, the E, okay? So I'm just playing the triad and then I'm playing the octave of that root note of that triad, okay? If that makes any sense. Okay, so, da, 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 da. same thing goes up a half step above, so D major first inversion. Da, 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 da. See what I mean? So I'm spelling out the chord. You can play it two different ways, right? So anyway, so I spelled out those triads. So let me take it slow one more time. D major. D major. First inversion C major. And those notes there are E, G, C playing the octave now first inversion D major F sharp a D F sharp now for the next G for the second inversion C major you start on G basically I'm just playing the triads or the notes inside of that chord for the inversion so it's not technically the triad for it because if I'm starting on G, the major third of a of G is not in that key, not in the key of C major. Okay, so I'm playing the triad, I'm breaking up the chords. So I'm starting with the triad. All of these notes are inside of that one triad. So I'm breaking up and inverting the triad too. Okay, so I'm just using the notes the same way I will play the chords. Same way I will play the chords, I'm playing those same notes and breaking them up as if they were triads. Okay, so we got that out the way. <laughs> we have G for the second inversion. We got G, C, E, and then to G for the D major, second inversion, A, D, F sharp, A, and that's the end of it. But what I did, I made it a little bit more interesting. 
I wanted to descend it and ascend it, descend it and ascend it. So the first one I descended. Same exact note, same exact triad, but I descended it. Ascend. D major. So first inversion C major, descend. I have this written out for you guys too. I know it's a little confusing, but it'll make sense once you look at it and once you start playing it. All right, D major first inversion. Okay, now we have second inversion C major, second inversion D major ascending. Okay, so I'm going back and forth, back and forth, alternating the two. It had a really cool effect and a really cool sound uh, when I did this and when I played it and I just kind of played it over and over again and I just kind of played it to a beat. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's go over fingering really quick and then we'll be done with this exercise. So we have four, four, one, two. Same thing if you're descending it or ascending it. Two, one, four, four for the next one, right? And then we have four, stretch, one, three, three. Sorry, wrong note in there. Four, one, one, three. Let's do it again. Four, one, one, three, three, one, one, four, one, four. For the next one. One, four, two, 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 one, four. But so you have ascending the whole entire thing. Sorry, I wanted to go down. So ascending all the way up, you can descend all the way back down. I've been doing it up and down so long, it's hard for me to do it just one way. Okay, so you guys get the idea, right? So switch it back and forth as much as you want. Put a beat to it, practice it really slow and at your pace. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.